Yo, what up guys, Arepism here, and welcome back to another video. I warn you, the following audio of me speaking will be pre-recorded and read from a script. I apologize if I sound monotone or different in any way. You guys know I hate scripts, and I like to improvise my work. However, this video needs to be as short as possible to decrease viewer retention, obviously. So with that being said, after working on and off on RSG for 2 plus years, the random string generator is finally at a point where I can demonstrate all of its major features. Getting here was a lot of fun. Whether I was writing code in my class notes, or bored in my programming classes, and finally, pretty late at night with a lot of free time. At this point, it's ready to be shown in full. The purpose of the program is simple, if you want it to be. Simple enough, right? It does exactly as the name suggests, but much, much more. There are many random string generators out there, but mine has more of a purpose if you give it one. You can add any Unicode character, which is familiar from other string generators, and you can generate as much strings of any length as you want, as long as you have memory or hard drive space, the limiting factor of any computer. You may be thinking, there are websites that do the same thing, but they don't tell you things like the most frequent character in all of the iterations, or how many permutations are in each string iteration, which can be useful for measuring entropy. You can also brute force any string you want within the program and in real time see how long it would take to complete. All of these functions coupled can be used to generate random strings to be used for new passwords, hashing, and possibly finding new prime numbers out of chance. The most impressive feature this program has is a new dictionary form. This dictionary form loads up with six default word lists, and like its counterpart, you can generate random words from these word lists. You can apply various properties to the generator, for example, spacing each word, capitalizing each word, or randomly add entropy within the generated words to make a really strong password or a very high entropy string. You can create and upload any dictionary to the program with any Unicode character, which contains about every language character you can type with on a computer. The program can tell you how many possible dictionaries you can generate with the specific settings too, all within one program that is designed for anyone. Well, you also might be thinking there are word generators out there, but like I said before with the random string generator, this dictionary can generate with any amount of words as long as you have memory, but none let you add your own dictionary of any size with all Unicode characters. You can couple that and make a crazy, long, huge, impressive dictionary. That concludes this video. Check out my video where I walk through all of the program's intricate little details and features I left out in this video. There will be other videos going over specific uses of the different forms that I haven't mentioned in this video. Those will come out soon. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Peace out now.